Kurt asks, I must be, do you use Olympic rings in your training? Uh, I used to in the backyard, used to do them a lot. Uh, I like the dislocates. I like the, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of like when you stand upside down on rings when you hold your hand and, you know, doing various uh, uh, feet moves from there. Um, my only concern was, you know, it was a safety issue. I never, I never fully trusted what we had there. And fortunately, when the one did break, I was using it, and I did, uh, I did one of those matrix moves to save myself. Uh, I like them. I, I think they've got great value. Boy, they can, you know, I think it's called a bird's nest. That's where you bring your feet up into your hands backwards. Great flexibility move. Um, they do some interesting things for the shoulders. Uh, they're truly fun. I invented a, uh, I can't remember what we used to call it, but a, a ring swing, a ring swing. And basically it's where you, uh, you're doing kind of the opposite of a kettlebell swing, uh, but you're like a little kid in the park where you're pumping. Uh, if you, you pump with your legs to make it swing, and it was a great little exercise, but ours broke. I haven't replaced it. And it's no one, not one person has mentioned it in the, the last few years. So yeah, I like them. I think, I think they're nice. Like everything in the gym, those Kurt, they just they're just so overdone. So people beat these things to death. So yes, they're valuable. No, they're not the cure for cancer. No, they're not going to get you to Mars. They're fine uh, if you have them, use them. If not, you you make your choice. I I would not suggest getting them.